This stately building, a fusion of Eastern and Western culture, assembles the elites of Chinese businessmen. This is the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The installation ceremony of the Chamber's Council is always held on March 15th. On this very day in 1906, a group of Chinese business leaders gathered at the old Tong Chai Medical Institution to set up the General Chinese Trade Affairs Association. In 1917, it was renamed the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce. The chamber was bestowed with a seal from the former Chinese Republican government. To this very day, the seal symbolizes the chamber's spirit and mission. For more than a century, the chamber has been the leading organization for the Singapore business community. In the British colonial era, it looked after the welfare of the Chinese. It supported the setting up of Nanyang University. It helped the Chinese to secure citizenship rights. It lobbied for the building of the war memorial for the victims of the Japanese occupation. After Singapore's independence, the chamber contributed significantly to all aspects of national development. The Chamber Will's great influence with its nearly 40,000 direct and affiliate member companies spanning all trades and industries. Investment and business missions are regularly organized to help enterprises venture into new markets. Annual conferences, seminars and networking sessions are held. Representative offices were also set up in Shanghai and Chongqing to help members develop business contacts. In 1991, the Chamber initiated and organized the first World Chinese Entrepreneurs' Convention to establish global business networking. The Chamber provides a one-stop service for members to access the latest business trends and advice to enhance their competitiveness. Courses conducted by the Chamber's Institute of Business are well received. It also develops special training programs for Chinese government officials with opportunities to learn and source potential business. The Chamber partners the government by being the voice for businessmen and helping the government to implement pro-business policies. Many of the Chamber's leaders have served as nominated members of Parliament and they have contributed their opinions on national policies. Properties bequeathed by the Chamber's pioneers have laid the foundation for its cultural, educational and community development programs. It has signed MOUs with universities and secondary schools to disperse scholarships. It supports charitable causes. It helps new immigrants to integrate into our society. The Chamber plays an important role in promoting racial harmony and social cohesion. The Chamber's deep relations with China go back a long way. The Sun Yat-sen Villa, which played an important role in the 1911 Chinese Revolution, has been redeveloped by the Chamber many times, transforming it into a valued heritage institution. Over the past few decades, the Chamber has facilitated economic and cultural exchanges between Singapore and China. It has hosted many distinguished leaders from China and signed MOUs with various Chinese government agencies. In 2007, the Chamber spearheaded Business China. It serves as an economic and cultural bridge linking the world and China. In 2006, the Chamber celebrated its centennial with a series of grand events. At the gala dinner, Prime Minister Li Xianlong reaffirmed the Chamber's contributions to the nation. 
In 2016, the Chamber celebrated its 110th anniversary. In 2017, with the support of JTC Corporation, the Chamber set up the Trade Association Hub in Jurong Town Hall. Along with more than 10 trade associations, they share resources and promote cross-sector business opportunities. Established entrepreneurs are mentoring the younger members to be better business leaders. These young members have added more vitality to the chamber. Founding Prime Minister Li Kuan Yew once said, The history of the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce is a reflection of the history of Singapore. If the chamber is likened to a tree that has flourished more than a hundred years, then that is due to the efforts of its custodians, the hard work of every chamber president and council member, with the support of the secretariat. The chamber's strong foundations, built over a century, have ensured its continued success. It will always keep ahead of the times, adding new chapters to its illustrious history.